Hello YouTube, this is Jeff. Like many of you, I have a machine jam and I've been playing with the ideas view and the uh, lock snapshot morphing and it's been a lot of fun, but I wanted to be able to trigger that from my DAW. And I did some research and this is how I figured out how to do it. It's uh, pretty simple once you, once you understand. All right, so the first thing that I did was I created a software instrument track and in that I machine I inserted a machine to multi out plugin and that's important that you uh, use a multi out plugin at least the way that I do it and this one here this track here I'm gonna have trigger my scene changes and this is uh, going out MIDI CC5 and then every I uh, created another output of uh, machine and I'm I'm sure that you all know how to do that. Here we have the mixer look, and uh, all I did to create these other two tracks that I call section and lock is hit the plus button. There we go. There's a uh, there it is. It just it was just created. Uh, this one right here that I call section is MIDI. Or I mean uh, machine out three and four, and this is five and six. The outputs aren't so much so important at least i don't think that they are uh, but uh these are the two that i'm using i'm not going to use these other ones so let's get out of the mixer view here all right so section this is the uh what's going to trigger the section changes and it's midi six this one right here lock midi seven here's my midi tracks and then you can see that this one here is uh, scene. This is going to trigger my scene changes. And uh, let's move this machine out of the way. So every this is C minus two on the piano roll. When this is moving around, moving along the uh, the timeline, when it hits one of these notes, it's going to trigger a scene change. And in this case here, it's scene one two this is scene three and then this is scene one this is scene two this is scene three and then this is there's nothing for scene four and here's scene five so as this moves around it's going to trigger scene changes now these others like this here is the section change it's the same notes that are going to that are triggered i have a bunch of section changes here this is section one two three four etc i think you get the point the only difference is that these MIDI clips are going to doubt out different um, MIDI ports. I don't think that's the right term, but anyway, this one here, machine is expecting scene changes on five. And this is my, this is what I came up with. It's not anything that's hard and fast. Section is MIDI channel six, lock MIDI channel seven. Here is how you set it up in machine. All right, so you click on this little icon here, cogwheel. I have rigor retrigger in, enabled, and that means that the next pattern will start at the beginning of a pattern every time it gets a change request. If I were to disable it, it means that there would be a it wouldn't the pattern wouldn't start from the beginning. It would start at the same relative position. So if the pattern, or the, I'm sorry, in this case, the scene is playing. Uh, and then we're at beat two and a new scene is triggered, it's going to start at beat two in the next scene. So it's a smoother transition, but I wanted something more obvious for this example. So I put it on re-trigger so it's going to start at the very beginning of the pattern or the scene at each time, each time. MIDI change. This is where you do all the routing. And in this case here, I have scenes. I have it turned on. This is how you turn it on. And I have it. Scenes are MIDI channel five. Section changes are six and seven. Again, you can choose any MIDI channels you want. That's just what I picked. All right, so now let's check out to see if this works. All right, here we go. We see a bunch of changes. This is a scene change. These are my morphing changes. You can see them whenever this is. See? Morph. Morph. 
more. Here's a section changes right here. And then these changes. Alright, and you can see that it's switching the view depending on what it's changing. And then every time there's a morph change, you can see it right here. Alright. So basically that's it. To recap, you have a uh, multi-out plug-in here. These are instances of the machine out. This is three, four, five, six. Don't forget to change your MIDI outs. Don't forget to make sure that whatever you have over here on this size, on this side, is reflected here. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to come up with a cooler pattern uh, than this, and you're, you'll have better morphing. Also, there's one other CC change that I haven't been able to, to get to work. And that's this one right here. This one is supposed to trigger my dog to get me a beer, but I haven't got it to work yet. All right. See you later.